you really want to get gains out of your preacher curls, you have to make one simple tweak. Remember with all of your exercises, these are not just point A to point B motions. If you really want to build serious strength and muscle, you've got to pay attention to the little things. Here we've got Akib doing a preacher curl, and he's doing it the correct way. So that means he's locked in, he's getting a really good contraction on our biceps, and the preacher curl is all about changing upper arm angle relative to torso, getting that upper arm angle open so that you can then take your shoulders out of the motion. What we often see, and the mistake you want to avoid, is you're going to see people be very, very relaxed and loose through their back and their scapula. They're trying to focus on their biceps, quote unquote, but all they're doing is they're allowing a little bit of momentum to enter things. And even worse than this, and this is the thing you really want to avoid, they're creating a lot of shoulder laxity and they're letting that biceps tendon have to carry a lot more strain in the shoulder area. So Akib already has shoulder problems and plenty of guys do have shoulder problems and that's why you want to avoid doing preacher curls like that because as you can see, the guy is in pain already. So this is you if you keep doing preacher curls and you don't pay attention to your shoulder blade positioning because shoulder blade positioning is key in doing the curl and we've lost that because we're trying to focus so much on our biceps. So you've got to remember what the rest of your body is doing and you've got to keep this in mind too. We're obviously doing this on an incline bench, but this is going to hold true whether you're on a machine preacher curl, whether you're on the standard preacher curl bench doing it the classic style with the easy curl bar. Any way you're doing it, you want to make sure we're paying attention to shoulder blade positioning. So if Akub's ready to go, are we ready to go? Now we're going to show you a nice safe way to do the preacher curl. We're going to make one tweak. You're still going to get a great squeeze on your biceps. All Akub is going to do now is he's going to try to pin his entire body against that bench. So there is now no space between his armpit and the bench. He's tried to tighten his position up there and then he's gonna squeeze his shoulder blades. This is gonna put his shoulder in a lot more friendly of a position from which to curl. It's a lot safer of a position too and there's a lot less stress on the biceps tendon pulling against that labrum. So it's a safer position that he can still get a really, really good squeeze on every rep. Now he also gets to make sure he's not rocking back and forth, which is something you can do when you let a little bit of space peek in between that bench and your armpit. You can start to rock and you're not gonna get that good focused biceps contraction. So this is the proper way to do a preacher curl, the best way to do a preacher curl, and it's the adjustment you wanna make if you want more biceps muscle.